Uh, yeah, so th those are the cool guys, right? They're all the. Who are they? Who are they? Tal Bro and oh, that was E Tal. Tal. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh, that's yeah. Nice. Yeah. So of course we always got to see Sal here. <laughs> I can't get away from <laughs> the, him. the Godfather of Tile. You know, <laughs> definitely check out his YouTube channel. Always has the most informative information on mud beds and anything done, you know, the right way. Really. I, I told him everything he knows. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, absolutely. He's one of the originals. <laughs> All right, so we're here at tw uh, Coverings 2024. This is an exhibit for anybody in the towel industry, anybody in floor covering, anybody who's just looking for better ideas on their own design for their own bathroom or home project. Uh, this is something that I have found to have so much benefit to me as a tile contractor. I've found so many tools and equipment that have made things a lot easier on my projects. So years ago, one of the first foam boards I ever used was found here that I used for over a decade. It transformed the way I did showers. And then I also found a whole bunch of different systems that make it easier to install linear drain systems and all different types of high-end shower faucets and different things. So I'm really excited to see what they come out. Every year, there's always a new slew of new products that are gonna make our jobs a lot easier. So let's go check it out and see what's available at Coverings this year. You know something? We'll, we'll hook up later. We'll, go, okay. we'll find each other later. All right. You can do your thing, okay? All right, sounds okay. good. See you later, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Sal. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Good to meet right. you. Good to meet you, man. Too. <laughs> good. All right. Like, so. All right, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Just got just now. Just now. Good so. deal, man. Good deal. Yeah. So this is the Ruby. How's it going? Hey, what's up, man? I was hoping I was going to see you. How are you doing? Pretty good. Yeah, oh, good. Everybody's here. What's up, man? You too. <laughs> see you every day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so obviously we're here at Ruby. Winnie, Winnie Designs, Misha. Misha, how you doing, man? I didn't see you. I didn't know you guys were here. Yeah, we just got here. Just got in. <laughs> All right, so this is a redemption video. <laughs> Last year, I didn't do so well, so let's try to make this cut perfect. Here we go. Yeah, it's good. It doesn't take much pressure, does it? There we go. All right. Very nice. Second cut. Very nice. Successful. Successful. Thank you. Very nice, though. I really love it. I mean, it's a very precise machine. Tell me more, tell me more. It's a very precise machine. I'm really happy with the, the glide. The pressure, you don't need a whole lot at all. So I'm really impressed with that. I can see this being great for, especially with the new towels that are coming out these days, they're all 48 inches long. Exactly. And it's tough. Uh, so thanks so much. Thank you, thank to. you. Nice work. All right. <laughs> How are you doing? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. How's it going? JP? Yeah, sir. The new rock star here. How are you, How you doing, man? I'm well. <laughs> Whoa, we're filming. <laughs> always, always. <laughs> Having a good time? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, honestly, I've just been walking around here trying to find coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get to it. So, we always have to make it to this. This is Hydroblock. So, last year we came here and. Uh, this is one of the systems I was always interested in using. So I was really happy to meet him here last year and we plan to do a much more of this this year. But they have a lot of great products that they continuously innovate and make better. So let's check out some of the new features here in Hydroblock. This is one of their unique systems, this is their drain system. So this is like a little rubber gasket and that's all you do to actually install this. It just slides around that riser pipe. So, so you can see here, here's the riser pipe. That's all there really is to it. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. So, really is a user-friendly system. The other thing you might want to talk about, not that, I'm not gonna to try to teach you, <laughs> but is the fact that, you know, it's got a rolling balsa. So when the when the pipes are not plumbed, oh, which they never are, oh, yeah. they don't rotate. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. everyone has a problem a lot of times with I mean, well, just, yeah. I don't know why plumbers can always make their own pipes if they're hooking up their own fixtures. <laughs> when we get there, it's... Yeah, it's like a... Yeah. You know, it's, it's like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's awesome. So here's Sika. This is something you guys are going to see a lot of on my content. We saw this at the International Builder Show, but a lot of great, exciting stuff with theirs. Uh, one of the things I was impressed with was their thin sets and their foil levelers. So definitely 
something worth checking out for sure. What is that? It's a Zika. Oh, oh, you got a membrane too? Yeah. Nice. It's going to be called the 150 membrane. We're the nice. Right here. Yeah. It's pretty nice and thick. Yeah. So we have this overseas. And we're bringing that over here. That's going to be coming out soon. Nice. So you're getting a sneak peek. Steam nice. Steam rated. Steam rated. Cool. Really? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Hey, Don. Good to meet you. How are you? Good. Good. Yeah. yeah. Coolest so. Ever. <laughs> so much. So last coverings, we were here and we saw Ventiques. You see me install one of these. Really awesome upgrade to the bathroom. Yeah. So. This is one that has a damper on it. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Oh, Be a nice little thing to show. Yes. Yeah. You ever seen Levolution? I have not. It's a self-leveling spacer. You know, kind of the biggest competition is going to be wedges. Yeah. The big difference is if you did a wedge, you'd have to have three pieces. You know, this is just one piece. It's a space. It's got a spacer on the bottom. Yep. Take the gun, put it on there, and give it a good snug squeeze. There you go. That's all you need. All you need. Nice. So, but going on here. Giving something away, I guess. Like, you fill in for like a uh, fill in for like a chance to win off, whatever. You got to put like a monolith sticker. Like uh, oh, this is monolith here. Not that much stuff. But... Holy cow! Got a hell of a turnout for it. <laughs> yeah, this is just like well, that's a nice hard rail. Yeah, I like that. I mean, so they have all the plays. They got the grinders. They got the. Yeah, like the grabber, the vibrators. I mean, some guys. It's pretty remarkable that you have every single aspect covered here. But this is going to help, like, yeah, really hone, you know, grind down a tile or shape it. Yep. You know, all types of things. That's pretty wild. This is awesome. Look at that. Look at that kit. It's got all the polishing pads. That's so cool. You got the hole saws. Got the milling bit. Yep. Got the cone. This guy is definitely. And you got a whole bunch of different blades, huh? Yep. Wow. That's cool. Nice. Well, you, even got, you even got your levels? <laughs> Those are all different levels, yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. Automatic tile saw. You set the length of the tile. You want to do all ports. You set the sensor beyond the length of your tile. Hit the button so you set. Hit the button, walk away, do something else. Wow. That's amazing. I don't think I've ever... a fun little toy. It sure is. You've it's got a bag. shop vac. I mean, come on. It's HEPA qualified, 153 <laughs> CFL. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, no one does this. No. I mean, this table's pretty wild. So that's, uh, they call it a Tyler table. The, table. the reason is, there's a slot for cutting long. If you use your angle grinder to cut off a line, a long line, or if you want to do a plunge cut, it's got a circle. It's actually got a template. We took some parts off of it. The template lines up with a thing here. So when you're drilling, you can't see your hole, right? This shows you where your hole is at, so you don't accidentally drill into your tail. Huh. That's the concept. Huh. <laughs> nice. Very nice. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's I can't believe it. It's a completely smooth cut there. Perfect. What, and you got a bucket liner too? Yeah. Uh, it's amazing how many people like these things. Because these retail on Amazon anywhere from $69 to $89. And us, it's going to be about $49. Yeah. You're like a, a content creator's dream here. I mean, you got absolutely oh, every aspect you. of everything. I, I mean, you just have so many things to. He's just like, I mean, the profile gauge to the. That's the, a profile gauge, but it locks, which is why I like that one better. Yeah. You mean, you mean like grout bag? Yeah. What is that? It's a trim puller. Oh. You just set it behind your trim, hit it. The idea is you want to try to save your trim. But they got a laser. Yep. Great block. My favorite 
The spacers? Yeah, horseshoe spacers. The horseshoe ones, yes. Well, thanks, Dan. I will definitely be contacting you. Yeah, hopefully we can work together on something. This was a original type of system I did a lot of showers with. Um, this is basically something that you just take out the subfloor. It's a really thick, it's called tough form. And it is exactly that, but what's really great about it is that you don't have to have any subflooring underneath of it. You just have to have 16 inch on center studs below it. And then you can place this and this could be your shower, curbless shower floor system. Really cool. Exactly, you don't have to do any of the... Uh, you don't have to do any of it. Yep. You just put some blocking around the perimeter. It's literally two two by fours worth of lumber. Yep. A couple screws, you're looking at like 10 bucks in material. Yep. And this is precisely the reason that this makes it so much easier. When you have eye joists like this, which is mostly new construction homes have that, That's right. it's a lot more problematic to, you know, recess plywood. So this really solves that issue. And how, how thick is this, seven eighths? It's seven eighths. Yeah. So Yep. Four screws. This gets laid in with the waterproofing. Yep. All the all the seams take up the wall. Same thing. You lay up with the liquid waterproofing after that dries, which takes only an hour. Yep. You roll on two coats on the whole thing, and you're ready for time. Yep. All right, babe. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna go look at tile. <laughs> Day two is always tile. Uh, honestly, there is so much to see here, but the the tile is definitely worth coming here for, even if it's just for design ideas and yeah. inspiration i mean honestly it just shows all the new trends coming out so let's go I'm check excited. it i'm excited yeah it'll be nice i need more coffee, coffee for this <laughs> honestly all the socialization with all networking just like kind of wears you out but it's also really fun because you get to see all the people that you see on social media and get to see them in person and discuss things so it's a lot of fun so the displays here are just always amazing. It's amazing how much effort they put into all of this. It really gives you a real design aspect to showcasing their tile. I guess that's why they go so far out on it, but <clears throat> it's just really amazing. <laughs> you gotta come here to really see it in person. The video is not gonna do it justice, but you know, there's just so, every single manufacturer you can think of, style, color, you know, all these new designs, really, really I awesome mean, but stuff. Look, like yeah. So. <laughs> well, these are penny tiles, but I just like the I like the smaller stuff. I mean, even this this is really just cool. Yeah. Yeah. Let's show this one here. Yeah, I mean, go ahead. That would feel good on your feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they kind of, I mean, they're framed like them. That's fun. I mean, honestly, you could just make that a piece of artwork in your bathroom, you know, like do, do these colors and make that your kind of print. It's a cool idea. Wow. That's something else. Yeah, that's a beautiful piece of quartz stone. Wow. <laughs> we should just make a bench like that in the shower. I mean, this is the stone. I mean, it just has an LED light. That's pretty amazing. How cool would that be? Look what... <laughs> it's just an absolutely amazing... It's all piece all marble stone it's freaking amazing <laughs> that's pretty fun that's a nice <laughs> honestly <laughs> I remember that when this was cool and now I'm just kind of <laughs> I'm kind of tired of seeing it. <laughs> These large big tiles. I mean, they're cool, but they're just the marble look alike. I'm just kind of kind of over at this point, really. Now this, I love those big panels, but this is just more interesting. 
This isn't even grouted, so once you grout this, this would even look even better. This would even grout? No. I don't know why they didn't grout it. Well, why would they have to? But this is fun. I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty fun. It's cool. Look how amazing that is. That is really. The name's perfect for it, too. <laughs> That is beautiful. That's a lot of it's a lot of fun. That is really really neat. Very elegant. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, that's it's beautiful. Yeah. It's like your um, Vermont uh, flags. What do you call it? They're the barn quilt tiles. Barn quilt tiles. Yes, they are. Production delays. Do you know how many of these come from? Wow. Do you know how many of these All these are. I mean, all these are really cool. Yeah. Very cool. Even the watercolor. Yep. Oh, that's ugly. That's ugly. Yeah, no thanks. So, a year ago, Sal introduced me to these IQ saws, these dry saws. And I honestly thought he was crazy. I, I didn't understand the concept of a dry saw. Well, you may have been right about the crazy part. <laughs> but, you know, a good tool is a good tool. Yeah. You know? And, uh, yeah. you know, you were skeptical. I was. I reassured you. Yes, you did. And then you found out for yourself. Yep. Great saw. Yep. No, but honestly, not having to deal with the, the, the wet saw and all the mess that is associated with that has really made it like the saw that I just want to go to. I just want to use it because no, it's just, I, you know. Look, I have, I have one, two, one, two, three, four. I have six wet saws. Six, uh, yeah? I have six wet saws. I wow. give them two away. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been eight, right? So, and so, yeah. But the ones I use is this one and that one. Yeah. There's few instances that you do. That. You need a wet saw for like, like glass. Yep. Right, because. Like, yep. This little tabletop on here, which is really cool. Yeah. So I was able to rip down uh, 48 inch tiles. Yeah. With this, it turns it into a, uh, into a table saw basically. Yeah. And you, you know, and you got the fence. Yep. You got the fence on it. You know, you lock it on Bring this side. back down. Lock that side. I mean, you just don't. <laughs> I've just never seen that on any other type of saw. And just the fact that you can. Um, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you you know no, you, you want to make, make sure, sure you're square straight. up. Yeah, right. You want to make sure you're straight. And, and this doesn't get wet. Nope. It does <laughs> not. It does a really good job of taking yeah. dust control. I mean, I. You probably should wear a mask. I don't. Uh, uh, but I, I mean, don't. I don't, I really don't. I mean, it literally doesn't have any dust coming the, out of the it. The only thing that you get is like a few chips, but you just sweep that up. Yeah. You don't have to mop anything up. Yeah. Great engineering IQ. I do appreciate it. It's really awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we got to meet this guy. Heavy, what's up, man? Hey, what's Good up, to see man? you. Good to see you. You guys know who this is if you're on Instagram, Heavy Tile. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing work on there. Definitely follow him. I've definitely learned a lot of tips and different tricks thank you guys. love your filming too man it thank really you. it's really interesting to watch yeah we engaging entertaining fun. video production is something that i'm pretty passionate about and i kind of like it because i don't get burnt out on that aspect you know yeah. the tile work kind of does yeah i feel like if i would have pursued something in video production i would get burned out but because i get to incorporate that with the tile yeah i just have fun with it yeah you're getting a tile store? Yeah, I should be opening within like the next two weeks. Man, I mean, yeah, that's amazing. Cool. We, yeah, we signed the lease in January and we've just been like non-stop wow. working like Sunday through Sunday. Wow. How many it's, it's, guys got working for you then? Uh, yeah. We've got four W-2s. Huh? I'm like, I've been transitioning from 1099s to W-2s and so wow. we've got four employees uh, that do the labor for us, but we also have, I have somebody doing marketing now. That's and, awesome, yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So why why is the uh, I mean why why sell the tile? Is that you're just so genuinely I've been losing a lot of big bids, and I feel like it's because it's just just a guy showing up in a truck. Yeah, and. I don't know, let's say it's an $80,000 truck and I'm going for like $150,000 deposits. So for me to get something like that, it's, they don't feel as comfortable. It's different when you have like an asset or even a physical address. It's like stuff you don't find in your big box stores. So yeah. it's not a showroom for like somebody who wants to remodel their Airbnb. Yeah. And we're selling like luxury. I'm, I'm selling luxury more than yeah. tile, even though it is tile. Yeah. I love the idea now that you can, I mean, you're not only just creating like a, a design for somebody in, a, in an abstract way, you actually have the tile that you can That's really it. showcase it. So it's like, and like the, the ultimate way to sell the job. Well, not you know, I mean, that. your portfolio is going to show what you have. I mean, exactly. it just goes hand in hand. And I mean, like, even initially, like we're doing even like better pricing so that I can do jobs with my tile so that I yeah. can have, so I can show clients when they go to yeah. buy it. Like, look, this is a job that we've done with this tile. Exciting stuff, man. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, bro. Yeah. 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 Appreciate it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so you never know who who's going to be here, which I'm really amazed by. <laughs> Star Tal Bob, Bob at one of these events is kind of like what? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure doing? if you'd come to a place like this for well, some reason. Well, it's, it's the labor behind the, you know, the, well, I say the brains, but your partner. Okay, yeah. No, you, it, even when you were with him, I said, he doesn't know anything. This, <laughs> this is, this is the magic. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. You were definitely, I mean, I could just tell, you know, yeah. just by, I mean, he has some knowledge, but I think it was transferred from you. Yep. Yeah. That's, yep. So, That's absolutely the way yeah, it was. Yeah. So I just feel like you were always the, yeah. the brain behind that whole yep. thing anyway. Yeah. But you're one of the original YouTubers out there doing no, this I'm stuff. I'm the pariah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know, I'm, I'm the one that, you know, you gotta, you gotta have a hater, you know, you gotta yeah. have a, yeah. you, what kind of world would it be if everyone was monolithic? Right. That's right. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good to have all that pushback and honestly, you know, it's nice to have the counterbalance of that. And it, and it is like every one of these systems has their pros and cons. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and, absolutely. and, you know, but you, it's easy for everyone to get wrapped into their brand and right. Think which it's which is why I mix material. Yeah, you know, why absolutely. Sal gets after well, me about mixing material. Well, which is funny because once COVID hit and there was all these shortages, yes. you didn't have a choice other than to exactly. mix everything. And now everybody's like, "Good, I'm just mixing everything." Exactly, exactly. <laughs> because you're the warranty. That's exactly it. But, but yeah. you're good. You're absolutely, good. man. Yeah. Good to meet you. Yeah. All right, so that was it for coverings 2024. That was a really good time. One of the great things about it is it's just connecting with all the other contractors, all the vendors. Uh, especially, you know, conversating with other contractors really helps you to understand maybe the experiences they've had with different products and tools and get a better idea of what you want to use and be able to implement in your own bathroom remodel. So that was a really great time. I appreciate all the people that I met today. It was really awesome. I couldn't even get anywhere too far without somebody recognizing me, which is pretty odd, but it's really great to hear so many people that I've been able to help out with the videos and everything. I really appreciate all of you for following me and it's just made, uh, it made this whole experience just really wonderful. So thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video. Leave a comment if you've been here or if you're planning on coming, I'd love to hear your feedback about it, but I just had an awesome time. I think it's something that every contractor should definitely check out sometime. So take care.